Hi everyone, welcome back to Technon Tech TV. In this tutorial, I will show you how to draw an ER diagram for library management system. So if you don't know what is ER diagram and what are the components of ER diagram, then I have added the video link in the upper right corner of your screen. So watch that video first. So ER diagram for library management system is a graphical representation of database tables and relationship between library, member, book, admin, etc. So the main entity of this ER diagram is library, books, author, vendor, publisher, admin, employee and member. So here I have taken 8 entities you can add according to you. Now let's define the relationship between all the entities. First let's see the relationship between library and book. So library has books. Next admin manage uh, library. So I'm adding relation manage between library and admin and admin also add different employees in the database. So here I'm adding relation add between admin and employee. So admin adds employee. Now next is entity employee and member. So member send request for books to employee. So I am adding relation send request here and employee issue and receive books. So I am adding relation issue and receive between employee and books. Next is entity uh, vendor and books. So vendor sales books. So I am adding sales relationship here and publisher publish uh, different books so let's add relation publish between publisher and books and last we have entity author and books so books is uh, written by author so i am adding written by relation here so these are the relationships which i have uh, defined in this eight entities now let's see the cardinality ratio between these entities so one library has many books right and one admin manage only one library at a time and admin also add different employees in a database so one admin adds many employees and different members sends many requests to different employee next is employee and books relation so one employee is issue and receive many books at one time next is vendor and books so one vendor sells uh, many books and one publisher publish many books and last is book and author entity so many books written by one author so this is the cardinality ratio between these entities now come to the attributes so for entity library i am adding three attributes library name address and contact number and library name is the key attribute here next we have uh, entity books so i am adding three attributes here book id book price and book status so book status is to check whether book is available or not and book id is the key attribute here next is entity admin for this again i am adding three attributes admin id admin name and contact number and admin id is the key attribute here next let's see the attribute for employee first is employee id this is the key attribute next is employee name and then designation of the employee and employee's contact number and we have used multi-valued attribute for contact number because one user can have various contact numbers right now let's see the attribute for member entity so first we have member id this is the key attribute and second attribute is name so here basically i am using composite attribute so we have break down the name attribute into two sub attributes that is first name and last name next is address attribute here user's address is a composite attribute as an address is composed of uh, other attributes such as pin code state country and next we have uh, uh, attribute contact number and member type next we have entity author so for this i am taking four attributes author code author name author subject and author qualification and here author code is the key attribute next is attribute publisher so for this i am taking three attributes publisher code publisher name and publisher country and here publisher code is the key attribute and last we have entity vendor 
so for this we can take uh, two attributes or we can uh, take more attributes also so here i am taking two attributes one is vendor code and another one is contact number and here vendor code is the key attribute so this is how you can draw er diagram on different topics so this is just an example you can add various entities and different attributes according to you so that's it for this video if you have any doubt comment us below and if you found some value in this video then make sure to subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up and do share this video with your friends to spread the knowledge and stay tuned for more videos Thank you.